All right. Version 1.2 is here. All right, what's going on today? Let's check out DIY Powerwalls group. Jay, who's DIY is Powerwall group on Facebook. There's four people wanting to join. Let's approve these guys. There we go. What else is going on? Fandy Fire. Should I try it? Or Fireworks Guaranteed? Yep. Fireworks Guaranteed. Well, I don't know. Not guaranteed. Oh, check it out. Oh, look at that. So I have a uh, fan time session in two hours. So it's 1 p.m. So around 3 p.m. Alan, can you hear me? Pretty good. How about yourself? I've been watching you for years. Oh, thank you for that. Thank, thank you for doing that. that. My story is I built a EV, an S10 conversion. And check this out. Philip Childs, three hours ago, got my batteries. Adding 6.5 kilowatt hours to my power wall. Which brings us to the subject of batteries. Let's talk about batteries. As you know, these batteries, the Boston power batteries, went very, very quickly. I think they sold out like in an hour, an hour and a half or something. But unfortunately, there was only a few thousand of those sales. And we priced them at such price that, well, they were kind of hard to pass on, right? $100 a kilowatt hour, that's a thing that you don't see. That's what Tesla pays for batteries right now. Brand new batteries, right? Buying in the millions, probably billions of cells at this point so yeah these were gonna go but that's what we needed because we needed to concentrate in the next things right now i'm still working on getting the kits ready we're currently selling them at the website but the ultimate goal is to sell them like this already completely made solder so we have heard from a lot of you guys that are saying hey we we, we couldn't get those batteries and so I have been able to arrange so that we can offer some more U cells. And you, you might have seen these ones before. I did a video about these guys, I don't know, like a month or two months ago or something like that. These are really great cells. These are Panasonic NCR 18650s DBs. These are 3200 milliamp hour cells. And on the testing, they average about 3400 milliamp hours, which means that there's zero degradation. These are in like new state, right? So they're basically not cycled or cycled very little. Then there is also the LG M26s. These are 2600 milliamp hours and it's the same thing. They, these average about 2700 milliamp hours. On my testing, these are new cells or very low cycle cells. The problem is they have been assembled before and so they have the little, uh, you know, they have the remnants of uh, the spot welds in here. So you, you're gonna have to clean those out. Another downside to it is that, well, they some of them are gonna come at one state of charge when some other ones are gonna, you know, a different state of charge. So what you're gonna have to do is like cycle them or at the very least charge them all the way to like 4.2, throw them in the charger all the way up before you end up putting them on the uh, circuit boards here. Um, same thing with these, right? So they're, they're very good cells. You'll have to clean them. Let me show you what it is that you'll have to clean. You have to clean sometimes like a little bit of glue here, for example, right? You just take a little, you know, you just have to make sure there's not a giant blob there. And then what happens is you just have to, some people go crazy and they like go overboard and they like grind this. I say you would, you'd need to do that in an application where like you're gonna use a lot of amperage out of these batteries. But if you're building a power wall like most of us are doing, then you don't really need to have like the best contact on these cells because you're only going to be asking about four amps maximum on these guys so that's going to be okay so now that i have them clean let's build some uh pcbs here and then load them up with the load so i can show you the difference of uh these cells working right with the with the working load so let's build some pcbs first 
we have to solder the PCBs. Bam. Okay, now that we put the boards together, let's start loading them with cells. These are semi-clean, negative to positive, remember, negative to positive. I'm using this dongle here, here we go, see? They are all about the same state of charge. All right, time to make these ribbons here that you see that. You start by putting the ribbon on the table here, grabbing the little uh, connectors. You gotta make sure they're all lined up the same way. So here they have a keyway. So you gotta have that little keyway there. So when you put it down here, you gotta have them all the same. All right, so now once we have all of these spaced out where you want them, uh, I'm leaving a tiny bit of room for uh, just a slack. Not not enough, just enough to like make a little wave in there. But once you figure that out, then I like to place them here. I'm just using some, you know, vice grips. The ones that are used for like sheet metal. So here we go. All you do is you put it on the table, then you squeeze. And you try to make sure that they're they're like that is pressing straight and there we go that that one's done then what you can do is grab the other little piece this guy then you stick it on there there we go and that locks the whole thing and then you move on to the next one Here's the setup. They're at 28.7 volts right now. Here's the load. This charger here can load up this battery with a thousand watts. And it's gonna dump that load into this Model S module, right? So here we go. Here we go. There's a couple of them that are getting hotter than all the other ones. Probably because of those little nipples, the little remnants of the spot welds on them. That would probably explain that. But right now we're actually doing uh, 800 watts out of this module here. Here we go. This is where it's at. It's sagging to about 3.7 volts. Dumping all that energy here, right? So, there we go. Yep. This is the uh, LG now. All right, here we go. These are the LGs. They seem to be more even with a lot of these kind of getting hotter. Well, I mean, they're not hot, 34 degrees Celsius, right? But here we all, for some reason, this charger doesn't want to pull the 800 uh, watts off of the battery pack there, but it's very close, so it's 763. And those batteries are sagging down to 3.7 volts. It's pretty similar to Panasonic's. Now let's try the new batteries. The Revolt Cells. Here 
Here we go. These are the Revolt cells. They uh, they're not that hot actually. 30 C. But check this out. 941 watts out of the battery. It's 34 amps. Um, and look at how much they're sagging. 3.7. So these can output quite a bit. Quite a bit more. Uh, I didn't pay attention last time if I was looking at this number or this number, but I think I was looking at this number. For some reason, these cells, uh, I think they hold their voltage higher, and that's the reason why this that charger can hold out the, you know, higher output. So at 944 out of a total of 1,000 watts. This is 2,000 per, per, per side. I'm using one side, so it should be 1,000 watts maximum. We're at a peak right here. So there you go. If you are just not convinced by the Chinese cells that we are importing, then you can get either one of these, the Panasonic's or the LG's. These are definitely not as cheap as the other ones, but well, those prices just don't come around every day, right? But they are still pretty good price. The Panasonic's at $2.70 uh, a cell for 3,200 milliamp hour Panasonic cell, right? By the way, these are the same cells that the off-road motorcycles Alta use, uh, right? So these are, these are really, really good cells, high quality cells. Um, they come out to about $235 a kilowatt hour. Uh, now on the LG M26s, those are going to go for $2.20 per cell. Those are about $240 a kilowatt hour, right? And so just like the other cells, there's a limited supply of these. There's only a few thousand of these available. So, so once they sell out, it's really hard to tell when and if they'll be available again in the future, right? So just like last time, this will go up on our jhoosgroupbuy.com website that we've set up. And these are ready to go. So they'll start shipping now. So if you don't wanna wait for the Chinese cells, like the rest of us who are waiting for the first batch to arrive this is a great deal on some use cells now that's it for this video stay tuned for all the future pcb videos as you can see here i am gearing up to do the final and comprehensive pcb video where i show you from the beginning all the way to the end how to put it together but if you want to get ahead of that we're also starting to offer the kits on that same website uh Jesus groupbuy.com. So till next time, stay busy. I will see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.